Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today, I'm going to unbox a new set of golf clubs called Alien 51s. Let's see what we got. And what we have is a box inside of a box. All right, well, I finally got the things out of the box, so let's take a look at what we have here. First, there's the golf bag. Got a nice rain cover, so we're going to unzip that. Unsnap it. And our club. All right, I have my cheat sheet here. And let's start with the woods right here. And the big one here is the driver. It's a 40, a 460 cc oversized aerodynamic head, hyper titanium driver to increase head speed and maximize distance. The extra thin crown on the driver helps lower the center of gravity to optimize ball flight and forgiveness. And this club has a graphite shaft. And there we have the alien driver. Now, I'll be honest with you, I have not used a driver for years. I've always teed off with the three wood. This ought to be a really new experience. This set of clubs also comes with the alien head covers. Ah, uh, what's next? I think the next tallest one is a three wood. got the same cover the grip is the alien rubber standard rubber that they use it looks like a pretty decent grip won't know until we get out and swing the clubs a little bit this is a three wood and the three wood and the two hybrids here see this is the four hybrid and i didn't know anything about hybrids so i had to do a little bit of research but apparently this will take the uh place of let's say a three iron i'm sorry a four iron so again the same grip Pretty, pretty stiff shafts. And I have one more wood. And that is the five hybrid. Again, steel shaft. So the only one with the uh, graphite shaft is the driver. This should be uh, interesting trying to use clubs that I've never used before. My old set, which is 33, 34 years old, is way past due to be replaced. I'm constantly fixing the old clubs. Now, the nice thing about the uh, clubs here is that they have, from what I read, they have uh, what they call a high MOI which is uh, short for moment of inertia. And apparently what that means is if you were to hit the ball off of this 
toe, it's going to twist. That high MOI will prevent that twist from happening and hopefully make the shot a little bit more forgiving, especially if you miss hit one. Now, let's take a look at the irons. I should have gotten the irons, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and a pitching wedge. So let's see what we've got here. They all seem to be pretty well packaged and protected here. This is the six iron. It's got plastic covering on them. I'll need to take that off here shortly. Yeah, that's a much heavier club. I'm, I think I'm gonna like these. Part of the reason I didn't like my other set of clubs is they were so light. Supposedly, they have a little bigger sweet spot than my other clubs would have. So in other words, again, if you hit the ball or miss hit the ball, it should be a little bit more forgiving club. And here's a surprise. <laughs> a sand wedge. Wow, that is interesting because according to the description um, on Amazon, and I got these from, where did I get them from? I'll, I'll mention that later. I was only supposed to get six through pitching wedge. Even though the picture showed a sand wedge, it wasn't in the description. But I also got a sand wedge. Wow, that's a surprise. <laughs> and of course, a mallet putter. I have never used a mallet putter, so this ought to be an interesting experience. And like I say, I have a putter that I've been using for a few years. And it's been pretty decent. And there it is. Looks like it has a fairly nice grip to it. Nice face. This is supposed to be a non-glare surface here. So in other words, one of my older uh, putters, if you got it into the sun the wrong way, would actually reflect into your eyes and it would make it hard to uh, see what you were doing. Not that it really made that much <laughs> difference in my case. But yeah, this looks like it's going to be uh, non-glare and uh, we're going to give it a try, see what happens here. The other thing this set came with is this bag. There were two options for the bag. The first option was um, a stand-up bag, and this is a stand-up bag. Here are the legs, so it will stand up when you set it down. Uh, I think it's dropped down right now. Also, you could get a cart bag that you would put on the back of a golf cart. So let's see what we have here. This is to hang your golf glove. Got a nice little side pocket here. Another one down here. I suppose you could put a cell phone or something in there. Maybe a drink, small drink. Got a little place here. Oh, well, there's a big, big space here where you could put in a jacket or a sweatshirt or something of that sort. It does expand. That's pretty nice. 
place to put some golf balls, tees, any other golf equipment that you have. Got some more little cubbies over on this side. Yeah, okay. Looks pretty good.